Everything is via faith. So our purpose as we get to understand the gospel, the purpose is that this year as you focus, you're downloading enough information so that you can reboot your system and experience something different. It's going to be this word, y'all. Yes. When you get in this word, what does that mean? That means that I'm downloading a whole bunch of information. Ah, uh, the power of God. I'm downloading the power of God. Why? Why? Why do you say, how do you download the power of God? The gospel is the power. That's what Paul is saying. The gospel is the word of God. So I'm downloading, glory to God, in that power, Jesus. I'm singing it right now. I've been in this word. I'm downloading the word of God. I told God, God, fill me up. He said, do your part. So what I said, well, I started reading the word. I started meditating on the word day and night. Day and night. And I said, this book is not going to depart from my lips. I'm going to meditate on it day and night. Every day, every word. Every day, every word. So God says, well, I need you to experience my power. So I need you to download enough of my word. Right. If you download enough of my word, then you're going to press the reboot button. Yeah. You're going to press the reboot yeah. button and experience something you've never got before. Amen. Amen. You're going to experience something that you have never experienced before. Yes. 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 What does it take? Download enough information. What kind of information? I'm going to go and get a Dr. Phil book from uh, Barnes & Noble and a friend of mine. They came out with a new self-help book about how to get the man you want. I'm just going to, no! You're downloading the wrong information. Getting married to Freddie Cougar because you Or a Cougar because you, you're grown. You're trying to get somebody that God ain't send out for you. How to start a business in seven days. What? <laughs> Glory to God. You better download the right information. Amen. Come on now. The book of all books. Amen. The plan of all plans. Yes. Right. Glory to God. God. Watch this. When you download enough of God's information, He gives you His master plan. Yes, he does. Which yes. one do you want? Do you want a fake or do you want the real deal? Real. Stop settling for Ishmael when God has an Isaac for you. Amen. You've got to be willing, ladies and gentlemen, to respect the place that God has you in. Because what happens is, when, when your focus is not there, and when you are downloading the wrong information, what happens is, uh, when God has an Isaac for you, you will take the Ishmael and actually think it's Isaac. Because you're lacking focus. Let him who have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. It's a spirit of discernment. If you talk about the season that you're in, the time that you are in, the place that God has you in, the Bible says that the sons of Issachar, they were wise because they were able to understand the times and the seasons so here it is here you go and here we go we go uh, running after an award but God has a reward they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they will mount up Isaiah 40 31 they shall mount up with wings like an eagle they that wait upon the Lord shall receive the reward but when you download the wrong information, you run out here trying to get a award. Here you go. Isaac, is that you? No, oh, fool, is this my <laughs> I can make myself look like Isaac. <laughs> and you settle for an award when God says, if you just wait on me, if you just download my information. Amen. I'll reward you for being faithful. I'll give you a reward. The reward is really the promise. You settle for the A reward. Ishmael don't jack up your life. So we're going to download enough information, the right information. <laughs> Holy Ghost messing with some people up in here today. You're going to download the right information. Have you, just question rhetorical, have you been downloading the wrong information? Again, remember, we talked about David and Jonathan because if you have the wrong associations, they will cause you to believe a lie. If you believe a lie, you're going to be like Samaria. You're going to be bewitched with the spirit, with the curse. 
so we're downloading enough information so we can reboot the system and get something different. Turn to 2 Corinthians chapter 5.